At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated trading systems are performing. Are they making money or are they losing money? In today's video, we're gonna be going over September 2023 and how my automated trading systems performed. Before we get started, hello, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build and code and trade automated trading systems on the futures market. I day trade only, and if you want to work with me, see the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for September 2023, we ended our win streak, unfortunately. We had a seven month win streak, and uh, this was the red month. The red month that ended it all. So I'm in my Ninja Trader statements page. I'm going to performance last month, uh, which is September 1st to September 30th. Hit go. And we are down $74,867.50. Made 599 trades, about 3,604 contracts. Average trade time was an hour, 48% win rate. Paid 7,000 in commissions and fees. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, we were down 82,399 after commissions and fees. So sorry, that was the wrong number. 82,399. So tough month, very tough month. Um, let's look at the PL history for the month. So at one point, we we're up pretty well. Um, you know, September 27th, we were up $110,000. And much earlier in the month, in the month, uh, around September 11th, we were down um, at a, a max value of 171 thousand eight hundred seventy so it's been a roller coaster of a month big roller coaster lots of chop lots of uh economic news going on but no trend there was no trend in the stock indices and you guys know that i primarily trade stock indices nq and es futures there's not much trend for the month let's check uh trading view here we'll look at the uh nq daily futures for the month so september right a lot of you see these daily bars a lot of wicks a lot of reversals in the day right and no trend being formed and i don't do well those days i don't do well in these reversal days you know a couple big days though for sure the 15th uh 20th was nice 21st was nice 26th but overall not a lot of trend you know we started up here we did end the month you know nasdaq was down for the month but to get there was very choppy and a lot of my intraday systems did not do well. So that's okay. It happens. You know, I had a loss in February to go seven months in a row is incredible. And I knew at some point, you know, these systems that or the current portfolio was not going to keep working. And it was September was the month to show that. So, you know, it's all good. We have red months, you know, I'm still up quite a bit for the year. We'll truck it, we'll, we'll face it. And, um, you know, I made some adaptations for the portfolio to reduce the volatility that we're seeing with the P&L. Um, and to do that, you either got to re reduce systems, take them out, modify them, or add new systems that have lower correlation. And uh, yeah, you know, it's it happens. So hopefully October, we can get out of this rut and have a green month, uh, ideally more than this loss, but that may not happen. Uh, but I'm, I'm very, very, you know, ecstatic for October. Usually it's a good month. And from my modeling, uh, October, we do pretty well. So that's the month we're down. Don't always win. Uh, I share my wins and losses. So just want to be transparent with you guys and show you that this is hard. It's possibly successful, but it's hard. It's very hard. And, um, you know, you got to adapt to the current market. So that's the month, September, 2023. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below how your month was for September, how many trading systems you're running, or if you wanna learn more about automated trading and trading bots, see the links in the description below. Peace guys.